Hello and welcome, hot topic, triangular arbitrage. In fast moving markets like crypto, prices don't always line up perfectly, even within the same exchange. And that's where triangular arbitrage comes in. It's a simple way to take advantage of small temporary price mismatches between three trading pairs. So here's how it works in practice. You start with UCT, left lower corner. Use it to buy Bitcoin. Then trade that Bitcoin for Ethereum, just as an example. And finally sell the Ethereum back into USDT. If the rates aren't perfectly aligned, you can end up with more than you started without predicting any price movement. It's just a matter of real-time pricing discrepancies. While we are applying this to crypto here, same idea exists in other markets. Anywhere prices form a closed loop. So let's switch over to Python and walk through a simple script doing exactly that. All right, let's walk through the full Python script that simulates a triangular arbitrage opportunity on Binance. Script monitors a single arbitrage path, USDT, Bitcoin, ETH, USDT, using live market data. We start by importing two libraries, requests used to send HTTP requests to the Binance public API gives us access to live order book data and time is just used to control how often we check for arbitrage. We run the bot or rather the script in a loop later once per second. Then we define the base URL for the Binance REST API. We use this to build our request URLs when querying price data. And here we define a function that takes in a trading pair symbol like BTC USDT or ETH BTC and returns its best bid and ask prices. We construct the full URL for Binance depth endpoint. This is the endpoint that just returns the current order book for the given trading pair. Then we pass two parameters, a trading pair of symbol and a limit of five, which asks Binance to return the top five bid and ask entries from the order book. In our case, we'll only use the top level, the best available prices. We send the request using request get and immediately pass the JSON response to a Python dictionary containing list of bid and ask entries. From the response, we extract the best bid and ask prices, meaning just the first element of the bids and ask lists and store that in bid and ask. Then Obviously, as they're coming as strings, we are converting them to floats to get numerical values and then return both values as a tuple, best bit and best ass for the specified symbol. Next, we define a function, check arbitrage with a starting amount. Just as an example, we start with a fixed amount, in this case, 1k USDT. And here we use our UCT to buy Bitcoin. So we fetch the bid and ask prices for BTC UCT. So we just pass the symbol to the function get price, which I just went over. And since we're buying, we use the ask price, the lowest price someone is willing to sell Bitcoin for. And we divide our UCT amount, so in our example, 1K, by the ask price to simulate how much Bitcoin we would receive. If the ask price would be missing, we just exit the function early. Step two then is we use Bitcoin to buy ETH. So again, same story as before, we fetch the bid and ask prices this time for ETH BTC. And then we use again the ask price to simulate buying ETH with our BTC defined from dividing our start amount by the ask, this is our BTC. And then we use BTC divided by the ask price for ETH BTC. And we got ETH and with that, we would just get 
the amount of ETH we would receive. Step three, we sell now the ETH back into USDT. So we just pass ETH USDT to the get price to get the uh, bid in us. And now we just use the bid price as we are the seller and we multiply the amount of ETH by ETH USDT bid, which will give us the final USDT value. And same story here. So this condition is just always, if the bid or us is unavailable, we exit the function. Then we calculate the profit percentage. So we just compare the final USDT amount with the amount we started with. So we have the start amount and then the final USDT calculated here minus the start amount in relation to the start amount multiplied with 100 to get the percentage change. And this will just print the results of the arbitrage cycle. So how much we are starting with, how much we ended with and the calculated profit or loss percentage. Now just a random or rather a cross check. If the profit is above 0.2%, we flag arbitrage opportunity detected. So why am I saying random? Because this threshold is just a number coming to my head to showcase this. Obviously you would need to check that for EG trading fees, assumed slippage and so on. So this just to see if there is an arbitrage opportunity without taking any fees into account or not. So if that profit percentage is 0.2%, we flag it as opportunity detected. Otherwise we say no opportunities. So just a threshold to help you filter minor noise. Now, then we are just moving to the main loop, which is just returning the check arbitrage function once per second. So this is why you just put a sleep timer here of one second and this continues to checking for live opportunities. So if I would execute these two cells here, I would just get a live update here. And obviously non-surprising, we're not getting any arbitrage opportunity here. Very, very unlikely, unlikely for a Bitcoin ETH, super, super liquid market. Finally here, one very minor uh, opportunity is coming up, but this is not enough to cover for the trading fees, I can already tell you. Anyhow, this script obviously is intentionally simple. Perfect for understanding how triangular arbitrage works, but it has major limitations, right? We are, first of all, only checking one triangle using REST API polling, so once per second. Fine for testing and for conceptual understanding, but if you want to scan all valid combinations across Binance, REST won't scale. You will hit rate limits, you will miss fast moving changes, and you won't be able to act fast enough. Solution would be to switch to web sockets. With Binance WebSocket streams, you can just subscribe to live price updates for any trading pair and react instantly when the spread shifts. That's how you go from checking a single triangle to monitoring every opportunity across the entire exchange in real time. That's a huge amount of data, but something definitely doable with Python. So we will potentially cover that up in the follow-up. So how to build a scalable scanner using WebSockets, symbol combinations and efficient real-time detection. But I just want to check first how this topic is resonating with you first before going into that much of a detail. So I would be very curious and happy to go over it. Uh, if you're interested in that, let me know. Otherwise, I'm looking forward to see you in the upcoming videos. Cheers. Bye-bye.